everyone, it's Andrew D, and welcome back to another video. This is kind of a sit-down video. I was bored, so I thought I'd talk about all of the traumatic things my hamster's been through. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see his, his cage is right there. Uh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and, yeah, recently my hamster has gone through some things that are scary. Um, me being the type of person that loses pets easily, like, I was not good. I, I don't, I wouldn't say that. It's more that it was just the fish I had. I had six fish in the course of three months. Um, they all died. So... And then I thought I might as well try a hamster. And I'm always nervous about anything that happens with him. Because I do not want him to die like as quick as they did. So far, he has lasted longer than any of them. He's she, sorry, we figured out she. Um She's been here for about a month and two weeks, something like that. Um, so yeah. And she's still going uh, going strong. And even though she's been through all this, she still runs around, has the best time of her life. She loves it here. Um, so, let's get into this. So, the first thing was, um, there's probably more, so I'm trying to think of the first thing that she went through that was pretty traumatic. Um, by the way, I'm doing this because she literally just went through something that was probably the most traumatic. It, for me, I was having a nervous breakdown. Um... So, oh, she, um, so she is, since hamsters are nocturnal, this is one thing that just always scared me, so she always, at night, tries to get out of her cage by biting the top of it. And one day, my mom was like, I hope that the paint on the bars aren't bad to the hamster. I've been scared ever since <laughs> that when she's chewing on the cage, she's this, the paint's going to kill her. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, but obviously, I don't really know. I recently looked up um, how to tell if your hamster's dying. It said if they burrow, I ain't not burrow, if they, it said if they just stay in the corner all day. She does, but then my mom just said she's burrowing. So apparently I'm really dumb. <laughs> I even knew that. <laughs> it's just the area she's always in. She hasn't been there since. It's just her area. Um, but let's get into the super traumatic things. So it all started literally yesterday, and there are three things. So, the first thing that happens is I was sitting on this chair, holding her. I was just holding her like this. So, okay. She jumped out of my arms, hit my leg, and then fell off the chair. I freaked out. I thought she was dead. I checked. She's fine. I put her on the bed. She ran around like nothing happened. <laughs> so, yeah. Then about at like, I would say 10 o'clock at night, uh, me, my sister, and her best friend Peyton were hanging on my room playing Minecraft, and they Peyton was holding um, Bean. Um, Bean then jumped out of Peyton's hands and fell on the ground. It wasn't like she had a quick hit here either. She just went down to the ground it was bad it, like and that's another thing that scared me so we basically just put her back in the cage for a bit and then we did do this really fun thing yeah i was nervous because homer basically if you didn't know it is very bad to bathe hamsters with water because it strips their skin and gives them di super deathly diseases uh, Homer always tries to lick Bean, and we let Homer, Brody, and Winnie all in my room at the same time while Bean was out. Homer was all over Bean trying to get Bean, 
it was scary. Um, when Homer licks, is able to lick me, and it scares me, because his tongue's wet. So, yeah, I get scared when that happens. But, um, luckily nothing major has happened where he, like, licked every bit of his her skin. So, yeah. Knock on wood. Um, okay, let's get into what happened today. So, basically, Bean decided that she wanted to jump into the crevice crevice of in between the bed and the mattress so i'll try to show you guys right now it's over behind my bed is my pillow is where she did it but i'll show you what i mean it's right in between like here so she jumped in there i had to try and get her out but she's so big that i couldn't take her out in between or else i'd hurt her worse than she was already hurt I'd have to hold her by the head, and I can't do that. So, I didn't know what to do. So I thought, I might as well just pull up the mattress. She ended up, and I only slightly pulled it up, she ended up going under the mattress, so if I was to put the mattress down, she'd get squished by me and the bed on top of it. Um, so I freaked out. I got off the bed because I didn't want to put any extra weight on it. Um, I pulled the mattress off to go pick her up. When I pulled the mattress off, she ran all the way to where I just showed you. She ran all the way across the bed. And then I couldn't reach her, so I had to be as quick as I could. I held um, I held the mattress up with the side of my arm and then picked her up and got her out and... Relief. <laughs> it was, I was, I thought that was it. But it wasn't. Checked if she was fine. She ran around like nothing happened. And, yeah. She's just, I think, sleeping right now. Um, my hamster likes to live life on the edge. But, so far, she still seems fine. I don't think that she's gonna die anytime soon. Um, so yeah, I guess I might as well show, if I'm talking about you, I might as well show you. Alright. Okay. So Bean's cage has moved recently because I moved my room around. Can you see her? I hope you can. Maybe. You can keep sleeping if you want, Pink. Alright, so... I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it was quite just the random talk. I kind of wanted to do more of these because they are fun. I like doing sit-down videos. They're fun to just talk about things that have happened. Um, so maybe I'll do more of them. And, but for now, this is the end of this video. Um... Hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the traumatic moments that my hamsters went through, but apparently not to her. She found them fine. Even, okay, even when she got dropped, she'd get up and just start running like she was fine. It just, she'd just do her normal thing. She'd run around just having a good time. Nothing wrong. So, yeah, she's fine. And see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>